Hello, my name is Becky Orpin. I wrote this book, which is called Take Heart, Take Action, um, which is all about small things you can do to make the world a better place um, and to help protect your environment and be kinder to people, just small things you can do every day. Um, and Lisa will have done a great reading of this, so I'm not going to read it to you, but I am going to show you how you can make your own poster similar to this full of things that are important to you. Um, what you'll need for this is some templates that you can download from the Wheeler Centre website and print out. You'll need a plain piece of paper. This is A4, but you can use any size. Um, A4 will fit about this many different graphics on it. You'll need some scissors. You will need some glue. And also, um, I've left space on the templates where you can create your own graphics of things that are important to you. Um, so if you want to do that, then you'll need some coloured pencils or some textures or whatever you like to make your own graphics. So the first thing we need to do is just cut out the templates. Um, just to make it easy, I'm just going to cut out a few but if you go through them and read them and then find the ones that are most important to you to include on your poster and do that um, these are all these graphics are, is every page of the book as well so these are all the things that are important to me Just cut them up into squares. Um, and you can fit, if you want to fill up your page, you can probably fit around um, 12. So you'll need 12 different graphics. Cut up a few from this page. If you're looking at these and you don't understand what some of them mean, then actually in the book, at the back of the book, there's a glossary that explains what some of these terms mean. Um, so you might like to have a look at the book. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need another three to fill it up. Or you could just do that many if you like. How about we do that many? And then I'm going to make one of my own as well. So when you're making your own, um, you might like to think about things that are important to you. So the environment or your community or your school or your family and things which you can do to make things better for those things. So I was thinking about, um, you know, a playground and, and how when um, the playgrounds were closed, how that important we realised that they are. So I'm going to make one about keeping your playground clean. So first I'm going to add the text. It'll be, let's do keep, and then playgrounds, clean. And then I'm going to draw a picture of a playground. Colour it in green. You might even like to make a list of a, you know a different a whole lot of different things that you would like to include on your your own picture. Um, you could even make a whole poster of your own 
graphics with the things that are really important to you and not even use mine. And I guess the idea of making these posters is that when you've finished it, you can stick it up somewhere where you'll be able to look at it every day, like your bedroom wall or the fridge. Um, and then you'll be reminded of those things every day that you can do that are just small things, but make the world a better place for yourself and for everybody around you. Um, and I do think if you, everyone does these small things, small acts, then in turn, the world will be better. So it's good to have the reminders around. Okay, I've got a nice green background. Now I might do some, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna do a slide actually. That's a pretty fun thing to have in the playground. So you'll see with my graphics, they're very, very simple. And that's because I just wanted them to be really bold and I guess uncomplicated so that they get a very clear message across, which is why I call them graphics rather than illustrations. Um, in a slide. Do we need a, let's try a red slide. Hopefully this text all works. There we go. All right. And now let's arrange our things. I'll stick them together. I'm going to include, actually, I'm just going to include six on this one. Let's try this one. And now I'm just going to stick it together. If you have um, your paper, your base paper, it doesn't have to be white, it can be any color. And as I said, you can put as many or as little of the templates and your own graphics there. It doesn't have to be six. It's up to you how many you want to make. There you go. There you'll have your poster. Visit wheelercenter.com for the best in books, writing and ideas from Melbourne, Australia and the world.